Before we begin, I just want to say that um, this particular script can be found on the Demented Ferrets blog. It is a somewhat repurposed uh, script for the sake of this video. But if you'd like to read the written content as well, you can go over to the blog. The link is in the description below to do so, and it is under Watchlist Wednesday. With that being said, let us begin. Today's review shall be Desk Set. Now, if you don't know about this movie, strap in, because that's what I'm about to read you. And then, after I read this, the blog, the original blog post, I will go in and add some additional details. So, I have to say, I absolutely love Desk Set. It's a 1957 film starring Spencer Tracy and Katherine Hepburn. To me, it's a festive classic, and although it really isn't a Christmas movie, it takes place during the holiday season. In this household, we watch it every single year, often more than once. Spencer Tracy plays the role of Rich Richard Sumner, and Katherine Hepburn plays the role of Bunny Watson. Basically, the movie is about Richard Sumner uh, loitering around in the research department of a large television network. He has been asked to keep his reason for being there secret from the people working there. Meanwhile, the talented manager of the department, who played Bunny Watson, played by Katherine Hepburn, uh, intends to find out exactly what this man is up to. The movie culminates into a battle of wits as the two of them try to figure each other out. At its heart, this movie is a mix of romance and dry humor. It's a slow pace, but has plenty to offer. It may be a live action and not anime, but I do have to say that it's part of my collection, as you can see here. It is definitely part of my collection. <clears throat> I strongly suggest that anyone who enjoys classic films should also have it in their collection as well. The movie certainly has aged pretty decently, considering that it was made in the 50s. There are remastered DVDs and Blu-ray releases for those who care to have them, but a washed-out VHS tape will also serve you well. It may not look as pretty, but it does have sentimental value. And we, in this house, also have a VHS tape. It's just old and decrepit. <laughs> um, as far as the characters are concerned, Bunny Watson is a pragmatist with a sharp tongue and incredibly bright mind. Richard Sumner is a bit pig-headed and stubborn at first, but he quickly warms up to Bunny as the movie goes on. They challenge each other first and foremost. Romance acting as a slow burn to a, great to a great, greater narrative thread. And it's well and truly factual. It is a greater narrative thread that weaves these characters together. If you like classic movies with a slight nod to holiday themes, it'll serve you well for that. So in the spirit of holidays, go find yourself a copy and huddle under a warm blanket and enjoy. And that was what I wrote on the blog. And I still stand by it. This movie is phenomenal. It is probably one of my favorites from the older era of movies, okay? So when you're talking 50s movies, 60s movies, it is in color. It is in color film. It's not black and white. There, as you can see in the back, it does... It, it is very much in color. So, if you like um, older movies, I have to highly encourage it. Now, one thing I didn't mention in the blog that, in retrospect, I do want to talk about is how the movie handles its ideologies. Um, there's a few characters in there that are... Uh, how do I word this? Um, <clears throat> too much up their own ass for their own good. <laughs> okay, just just there's there's one character that very much is that I didn't mention in the review, but he's Bunny Watson's boyfriend, who is not at all. They they just call him Mike. He's not a good character. He's everything that you could possibly hate about. A boyfriend as far as like he he's ignorant he's willful he ignores bunny watson as you know in passing all the time it 
is he is by far the, the most aggravating thing in the series, in my opinion. But Bunny is an intelligent character, and even though she allows herself to be, uh, you know, ignored or, or taken, you know, kind of advantage of, she doesn't really let that get her down because she is very self-assured in who she is as a person. And as time goes on, she begins to develop a relationship with Sumner. So, you know, you have this, uh, this very intelligent man, you know, he's in charge of running a computer called Emirac. And this, he's by far one of the most, uh, inter- his, his computer logic, he's very cold and, and, and aloof at times. And his, his strange, uh, uh, interest in computer logic is probably one of the uh, more enticing parts of the movie, especially when paired against Bunny, who can, in her head, uh, you know, calculate gigantic numbers. She can um, come up with facts out of thin air because, you know, working in a research department for a television station, she has to get facts quickly and reliably. So she can do this and she shows immense uh skill at her job and of course getting that this intellectual interplay is what really drives uh this movie forward and it is it's very lighthearted in a lot of ways it is very comical in a lot of ways but the humor is dry it is an intellectual dry humor it is something where there's a tit for tat going on between these two characters and that interplay is what makes it so enjoyable. So that being said, uh, due to its age, you know, movies were produced very differently back then. The ideals of Hollywood were very different back then. The, you know, some of that stuff, you know, take that as you will. I mean, if you're not a fan of older movies, don't worry about it. Don't, don't worry. But if you like classics, definitely check it out. Uh, on a final note, and this is something that really kind of sticks out to me when I think of older movies, such as such as this one, such as Desk Set, and such as uh, anything from its particular era, it's easy to be offended by small off the cuff, you know, turns of phrase uh, that back then was just commonly said. And it's nothing like over the top. It's just, again, in reference to the boyfriend, especially he's a, he's an ass. He's a special kind of asshole um, <laughs> that we've all seen time and time again in films. So again, he's nothing new. But if that kind of thing gets under your skin where you have this one dude who's just outright an asshole in every way possible. Um, you know, as far as like verbally speaking, he's just a jerk. Uh, then maybe bypass it. You know, if, if that really, really, really fries you and it, yeah, just bypass it. Now that being said, this movie is rated G. I kid you not. It is actually a G rated movie. So there's nothing in it that is particularly like God awful. It, it could, there could have been, there really could have been, there's not, thank God. Um, but again, it's, if you, if you don't like dudes who are jerks, the one dude is a complete jerk. Thankfully, like I said, Sumner is, is the antithesis of jerk. He's, he's intelligent and he's, again, the tit for tat between him and, 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 and bon, uh, Bunny are just hilarious. I love the way that that uh, Richard Sumner and Buddy Watson interplay on screen. And honestly, Spencer Tracy is wonderful for this role. And so is Ka- Catherine Hepburn in, in Bunny's role. She has just the right finesse to pull it off. And she pulls it off so well. You know, what would have come off as haughty or maybe not so uh, just natu- naturally intellectual, you know, she doesn't come off as, as anything more than who she is uh, as, as this character. She, she plays it so well, and I love her for that. So uh, that being said, that was the review of Death Set. I would suggest, I don't really have a rating system, so to speak, uh, 
But my advice is if you haven't seen Death Set, you know, it's always on Turner Classic Movies it, or, or, you know, older stations around this time of year because, again, there are some Christmassy themes to it. It's not really Christmas as a movie, but it take, there's a few scenes that take place around Christmas. So you'll find it on, you know, Turner Classic. I'm sure you can still find the DVDs. I certainly did. Again, D- DVD, Blu-ray completely possible to find so uh so i'm just sometimes just regular television so if you can give it a watch it is very enjoyable at least to me and i think you might find it enjoyable too so with that being said uh this is the first i guess casual review we're gonna get into uh some deep dives and analysis of other series a little later Uh, more on that to come uh so that being said Please like and subscribe on this channel if you want to see more of that content. Don't forget, we live stream every Wednesday and Saturday on our Twitch, me and Christian. So if you want to see us streaming video games, you head over there. And if you want to see the blog post, like I said, our blog is in the description below and you can search the blog and find all sorts of fun stuff. Most of it is anime and gaming related, however, so just keep that in mind. And with that, I'm going to leave it here, and hopefully you will find something uh, to enjoy. And don't forget to follow us on Twitter as well. Thank you to our patrons. There are three of them. Most of them do not want to be named um, outwardly, so I'm not going to do that. But thank you so much to you three. You guys are amazing. And if you want to become a patron and help support this channel, then and also all of our other content i mean there's a lot of content that we do so if you want to support us and what we do me and christian then give us a join on our patreon and i will see you guys whenever the next video comes out and that one's going to be a doozy because that one guys that one's a ruby episode see you guys then bye